It's no secret that NVIDIA stock has been in an absolute roar over the past few years. But over the past three months, the growth in NVIDIA stock has slowed down and come to a halt. Now, I have no doubt that NVIDIA stock will continue to surge into 2025. But there might be other AI chip stocks that could outperform NVIDIA over the next two years. Let me show you which stocks I think are going to perform better than NVIDIA over the next few years. And I'm going to give you my reasons why I think these stocks are going to perform better. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Stock Curry. I'm a former Merrill Lynch and Morgan Stanley investment banker, and I have over 25 years of trading experience. The problem with NVIDIA is that it's a victim of its own success. Over the past few years, NVIDIA has had a monopoly on the AI chip market. NVIDIA has been a full two generations ahead of every other AI chip manufacturer. And because of that, every major AI company, including Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, and Alphabet, have all been buying their chips from NVIDIA. But here comes the problem. When you're growing revenues at 200% or more per year, you eventually run out of money that can come into the company. There's only so much money in the world that can be invested into AI chips. And NVIDIA has pretty much maxed out the amount of money that can be invested. NVIDIA's latest generation Blackwell chip is leaps and bounds ahead of anybody else, and orders have already come in for NVIDIA's Blackwell chips. But now, NVIDIA is the burden of actually shipping those chips without those additional revenues coming in. And because NVIDIA has already had a monopoly on the market and has pretty much received every possible dollar it can, NVIDIA's growth rate has to slow down. In fact, over the past few quarters, we have seen NVIDIA's growth rate slow. And the future outlook for NVIDIA's growth rate is significantly lower than it has been over the past few years because NVIDIA has gotten so big and simply cannot grow any larger. As a result, this opens up the door for other companies to grow faster than NVIDIA over the next few years and take a little bit of market share away from NVIDIA on the older generation chips that cost less than some smaller companies might be interested in. Now, before I get to the AI chip stocks that you might want to invest in that could outperform NVIDIA over the next few years, let's talk about a few stocks and some alternate sectors that could benefit from the booming AI. You might be surprised to learn that the best performing stock in the S&P 500 of 2024 is not NVIDIA, but rather a supplier to data centers. The top performing S&P 500 index stock of the year is retail electricity and power generation utility Vistra, ticker VST which is up a whopping 210% this year, which beats NVIDIA's 155% increase. Vistra is a retail electricity and power generation company. And the three biggest cloud service providers, Amazon, Microsoft, and Alphabet, all need to ensure long-term power in order to support their AI data centers. As such, Microsoft and Amazon have completed long-term purchase power agreements with Vistra this year. Power and energy isn't the only sector that gets a boost from the boom in AI data centers. Data center equipment companies like Vertiv Holdings, as well as HVAC companies such as Johnson Controls, are also worth looking at. Now let's talk about the AI semiconductor chip stocks and which stocks might perform the best over the next two years. Investors are starting to believe that you should not buy the dip in NVIDIA stock. NVIDIA still has upside. But there are doubts about the sustainability of AI demand going forward into the future. AI demand will continue to be strong and it will continue to grow. But the type of AI demand is changing. The demand for the latest and greatest and largest AI chips is waning as those large companies have already invested in NVIDIA chips. Now a new wave of demand is coming for lower end chips 
and especially lower end chips at a lower cost than Nvidia's lower end chips. And that is coming from smaller companies such as IBM and others. So what I did is I looked at other companies that are providing these lower end chips at a lower cost than Nvidia, companies that could grow faster than Nvidia over the next few years. I also took a look at the company's fundamentals to try to find those companies which are a bit undervalued and have the best potential for growing faster than Nvidia over the next few years. Now, I don't have time to get into how to do fundamental analysis in this video, but Trading Success U members can go watch the videos on fundamental analysis in the Trading Success U course. If you're not already a member of Trading Success U and you want to learn how to trade and profit like a Wall Street pro, I invite you to join us in Trading Success U where you will learn about fundamental analysis as well as options, risk management, and many other things. If you're ready to invest in your future, you can get early access to Trading Success U for $100 off now until the course is completed. You can check out Trading Success U using the first link in the description below. Now let's talk about some AI stocks that you might want to buy instead of Nvidia. While NVIDIA is the leader in mass market GPUs, Broadcom, ticker AVGO, is looking to be the leader in customized AI chips. These are application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs, that are designed specifically for a customer's precise needs. These chips are created to run specific AI workloads and, as such, are more efficient than general GPUs the kinds of which NVIDIA produces. As a leader in ASICs, Broadcom might be the best NASDAQ stock to invest in right now. And there are good reasons to invest in Broadcom right now. Broadcom reported consolidated net revenue of $13.1 billion, which was up 47% year over year. And while that might not be as good as NVIDIA's revenue growth over the past year, Broadcom is expected to grow revenues faster than NVIDIA over the next two years. And just for comparison, if we look at NVIDIA's stock performance over the past month, NVIDIA is only up 3% over the past month. Broadcom, on the other hand, is up 10% over the past month. This is a good sign that investors are starting to pull their money out of NVIDIA and put it into other AI semiconductor chip stocks. Now, Broadcom isn't the only chip stock that could benefit and outperform NVIDIA over the next two years. Intel is another stock that a lot of people are missing out on and might be a great time to buy the dip. A lot of people have called Intel a company in decline, but those calling Intel a company in decline are missing the point entirely. Intel for decades dominated the global semiconductor industry, but starting around the year 2000, it began to fall behind. By 2008, Intel's chips were full two generations behind those of AMD and NVIDIA. But now, Intel is starting to turn itself around. Intel has spent billions of dollars upgrading its hardware over the past few years, and now Intel is about to release a new generation AI chip that could compete with NVIDIA. Intel hopes to start production of leading edge chips in at least one fab by the first half of 2025, which is around nine months away. As Intel fell behind NVIDIA and the other AI chip stocks, it fell 32% over the past year. But recently, Intel has started to turn itself around and the launch of its new AI chip has got investors excited once again. As a result, Intel is up 18% over the past month. Part of Intel's rise is due to rumors of a buyout. Qualcomm, ticker QCOM, has explored Intel chip design as an acquisition in order to boost their AI portfolio. Qualcomm might also be Intel's biggest customer for their new VMware, and that's another reason why Qualcomm is interested in buying Intel. But even if Intel does not get bought out, investors are really excited about Intel launching their new AI chips. 
Specifically, Intel's new Gaudi 3 processor is purpose-built for generative AI applications and will compete directly with NVIDIA's H100 chip. IBM is using its Gaudi 3 accelerators as part of its IBM Cloud with the goal of offering a lower overall total cost of ownership. And this is where Intel really shines. Intel might not be able to build the latest and greatest AI chips, but they can build older generation AI chips at a much lower cost than Nvidia. And that is gonna be very lucrative for companies like IBM and others who are looking to get into the AI space, but maybe not on the same level as larger companies like Microsoft and Alphabet. So Intel has a huge potential to grow revenues much faster than Nvidia over the next two years by getting into the lower end AI chip space and offering those chips at a lower price than Nvidia. AMD is another stock you might want to consider. AMD is up 60% over the past year, and it's up 13% over the past month. AMD's short interest has fallen 7.6% in September as it starts to make a comeback. Much like Intel, AMD produces lower end AI chips and will benefit from companies looking to get into the AI space at a lower cost than Nvidia can provide. That is why Intel and AMD likewise are competing in that same space to acquire those lower cost customers. And both of them could benefit from a huge boost in revenue over the next two years. Now we cannot continue to talk about AI chip stocks without talking about SMCI. NVIDIA's third largest customer, Super Microcomputer, ticker SMCI, is reportedly under a Department of Justice probe as its annual report filing delays have placed investors on edge. There's no doubt that there's a lot of problems with SMCI right now. Hindenburg came out with a short report on them. They're under investigation from the Department of Justice, and they delayed their filing of their financial statements. It seems that everything in the world is going wrong for SMCI right now. But this also provides an incredible opportunity to buy the dip. Because when everything is going wrong, the stock price gets beat down. And very often during these times, the stock price can fall much lower than its fair value, which provides a huge dip buying opportunity for investors. And once SMCI rebounds, it could rebound and go up much, much faster than other AI chip stocks like NVIDIA. Due to the recent worries, SMCI is down 60% over the past six months alone. But despite the recent fall, SMCI is still up 53% year to date. And what really has me excited looking at the technicals is that SMCI is starting to consolidate around this price level of $400. If you had bought SMCI during the previous consolidation period in 2023, you would have made a ton of money. And now that SMCI is consolidating once again, you have another opportunity to get in at a very low price and make a ton of money in the future. There is no doubt that SMCI remains on an upward trajectory course, and it looks like it's at the bottom of that long-term upward trajectory at this time, which makes SMCI technically one of the best AI chip stocks to buy right now. There's another AI chip stock that has just had an incredible turnaround story. Like Intel, it was suffering for years, but its most recent earnings shocked everybody. Micron technology might just be the best long-term tech stock to invest in. Micron surprised investors with strong guidance, which sent its stock soaring. Micron logged a quarterly net income of $887 million, or $0.79 cents per share in the latest period. A year earlier, it had posted a $1.43 billion net loss. So to go from a $1.43 billion loss to an $887 million profit is 
unbelievable and one of the best turnaround stories of the year. Micron also sees a significantly improved profitability in fiscal year 2025. Because of Micron's blowout earnings, the stock is up over 12% on the month. And just like SMCI, Micron stock appears to have bottomed out around $90, it consolidated, and now it is starting to rally once again. Micron's best earnings day since 2011 was due to its robust AI demand, which boosted its chip revenue. Micron isn't exactly in the AI chip space, but rather in the memory space. Robust AI demand drove a strong ramp of our data center DRAM products and our industry-leading high bandwidth memory. Micron is a leader in the markets for DRAM and for flash memory. It has also become a key supplier of HBM or high bandwidth memory for artificial intelligence servers. That's right, Micron is a key supplier for artificial intelligence servers. That is why Micron is benefiting from this huge boost in AI demand and will continue to benefit in the years to come. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these AI chip stocks. Which one do you think is going to perform the best in 2025 and 2026? And which ones are you buying and which ones are you staying away from?